Okay, let's go ahead and get started. We know that uh, Congresswoman Kim's time is uh, very short. So welcome home, Congresswoman. We're so happy to have you back in the district and even happier that you took some time out of your day today and out of your busy schedule <clears throat> to see us. Okay, word travels fast around here and so we're joined by some of our project partners and regional leaders. Um, with us today is Mayor Corey Moss uh, from the City of Industry, as well as Kathy Marcucci, Mayor Pro Tem from the City of Industry, and members of the Diamond Bar City Council. We have Mayor Pro Tem Ruth Lowe, and council members Andrew Chow and Steve Tai, and also some city staff. We have our uh, city manager, Dan Fox, and also our director of public works, Dave Liu. And there's also leaders here from the San Gabriel Valley Council of Governments, Caltrans, and the Economic Partnership. Congresswoman, you may remember that we had a great meeting with you in the city of Diamond Bar shortly after you were elected, and you assured us that you would be a strong advocate for the 5760 Confluence Project. Well, I'm here to tell you that you really came through. You really did what you said you were going to do. And I'm sure that most of our guests here know most of these things, but we're so appreciative that it bears repeating that you led the effort to secure a strong bipartisan, that's important, letter of support for the project's $30 million infra grant application submitted to the Department of Transportation by LA Metro. And soon after that, you testified before the House Transportation and Infrastructure Committee and gave a rousing endorsement of the project and the need for the committee to provide substantial funding. And you followed that up with an $18 million request to the same committee for member-designated project funding. Talk about hitting the ground running. I think we owe her some applause. So I can't say enough about how grateful Diamond Bar and the surrounding communities are for your efforts, and I'm sure you're going to hear more of the same from the project partners and guests. And you know, we've been working very hard for many years in tandem with our neighbor, City of Industry, to complete this fix for this major transportation challenge that we face. And with the incredible help from your congressional predecessor, Ed Royce, also LA Metro, Caltrans, the San Gabriel Valley Council of Government, and others, we've managed to significantly raise the local, regional, and national profile of the 5760 project and the infrastructure challenges we have. And the outpouring of support has put us much closer to reaching our dream of fully funding the project. And you can see around here when you look that much progress has already been made, and with your help, we'll finish the job. And if we're successful in securing the federal funding this year, we hope to finish it much more quickly, which will be a bonus for everybody. We know your time is limited this morning, and we want the project leader, who's very important, to catch you up on our progress and answer any questions that you or your staff may have. And after that, we're gonna escort you over um, to the overpass so that you can get a bird's eye view of what the confluence traffic looks like. So before the briefing begins, um, Mayor Moss is gonna speak, and I'm going to introduce a couple other people just real quick. You can wave your hands. Um, we are gonna uh, have, we have here today, and we will hear from Eric Shen, who's our Director of Capital Projects, San Gabriel Valley Council of Governments. We also have here a Caltrans uh, Director, Ron Kaczynski, from our division, Director 7. And we have Brad Jensen. Brad, where's Brad? There he is. Um, Director of Public Policy for the San Gabriel Valley Economic Partnership. Um, also from the um, Capital Projects Group, we have Paul Hubler, Director of Government Relations. And a very important person, Renee Cornell, who's the project manager, right over there, of this project. So I'm going to turn this over to Mayor Moss, and then um, make sure everybody on your way out pick up your uh, bag. Thank you so much, Mayor Lyons. Good morning, everyone. Thank you so much for being here, and special greetings to you from the City of Industry Congresswoman. Like Mayor Lyons, I'm happy that you were able to take the time to visit us while you're back in the district today. I also want to join Mayor Lyons in expressing our sincere appreciation for all that you are doing in Washington on behalf of the 5760 Project. It is amazing to see how much you have accomplished in such a short period of time. 
I know that there's a lot going on in Washington right now, so it means a lot to all of us that you've made this project one of your biggest priorities and have been such a strong advocate for us in Congress. The City of Industry joined forces with the City of Diamond Bar well over a decade ago to refine a plan to fix the problem at the confluence and advocate support for the plan at the state and federal level. Since that time, we have worked closely with LA Metro, Caltrans, and the San Gabriel Valley COG to grow the 5760 project into one of the highest profile highway projects in California and the United States. And it fully deserves that distinction. Traffic congest congestion in the SR5760 confluence area not only reduces the economic competitiveness of the nation's most valuable trade gateway, but it also has adverse local impacts. The choke point creates regional traffic spillover into our cities, which causes reduced mobility, limits accessibility to quality regional transit, and creates barriers to employment for residents from nearby disadvantaged communities who are seeking freight and logistics related jobs concentrated in this part of Southern California. So we greatly appreciate your deep understanding of these challenges and your willingness to help us secure the resources that we need to address them. The improvements we've planned will have a major impact on safety and mobility in our region and a lasting impact on the quality of our life, of life for our residents. So thank you again so much for your support and being here with us today. Good morning. Good morning, Congresswoman, uh, Congresswoman Young. Uh, Young Kim, and uh, on behalf of the delivery team, as well as our partnering agency, it is our distinct honor to welcome home, as well as express our expression, uh, express our appreciation. This project generates thousands, thousands of good paying jobs just on the construction, and also provides better quality of life for surrounding cities. So we really want to thank you and continue, look forward to continue working with you and pursue additional funding for this project. And welcome home, thanks. Well, good morning. It's wonderful to be with you here in the great city of Diamond Bar. And we're here to celebrate uh, this tremendous project, which will be such an improvement for the residents and citizens here in the San Gabriel Valley. Uh, I'm delighted to be here to represent the Economic Partnership, which is a regional business organization that for 30 years has promoted economic growth and development in the San Gabriel Valley. You can see behind me, if you can, obviously you can see all these cars and trucks at this crossing and out on the freeway, if you were to stand there for a few minutes to count each truck that goes by, uh, it's remarkable. Uh, some estimated 44,000 trucks cross through the 5760 confluence every single day in both direction. This is a bottleneck that is crucial to uh, not only our lo local and state economy, but the national economy. Because of our connection with the San Pedro, Pen San Pedro Bay ports, goods and trucks and, and all kinds of things that come in from Asia and the Pacific cross through this area and move on to the rest of the nation. This is a critical uh, project for, for everyone here in the region. This is money that comes from local taxpayers, from the county, from the, the, from the state of California, and we're hoping for additional federal funding that will finally get this project moving forward and built so that we can reduce the traffic, reduce uh, tra traffic accidents, and be able to move cars, trucks, and other traffic through this area much faster and much more efficiently. We're very grateful for the hard work of Congresswoman Young Kim, who has been tireless on this issue, which is so critical to our district, and other members of Congress here from the region who are working to move this project forward. Thank you very much. It's a delight, and we hope to get this project underway very soon. And thank you, Young Kim. Congresswoman, you've done a terrific job to help move this on. Um, I'm Ron Kaczynski, I'm with Caltrans, uh, representing Tony uh, Traveras, our director. Uh, Tony couldn't make it, uh, but I can tell you what he want to say. First of all, thank you again, <laughs> number one. 
Number two is safety. This is a safety improvement project. And what we want to do is make sure that the people that are traveling through here travel through here in a safe manner. That's what this project does. It really improves the safety of the people going through this community. Um, and the other part is collaboration. And the example of the people that have come here today is illustration of the collaboration that's been taking place for a long time and will continue to do so. Um, as a re representative of, uh, of Caltrans, I'd also like to point out that uh, Caltrans is putting money into this, of course. The state's putting money into this. And of course, we need to have some federal assistance on this also. And just lastly, I'd like to say, as a resident of Diamond Bar, I really have to do a shout out to the city because the city's really done a great job of taking the lead and not being kind of like infrastructure, in for, what is it? looking inward, but looking outward and looking at the fact that you have all the, these people coming through the community, all the trucks, all the goods and services that are going out across the nation uh, to, to people to make sure that the lifestyles of Americans uh, continue to be a uh, high, high quality lifestyle. So with that, again, thank you so much and uh, appreciate being here. Congresswoman, I understand your time is limited. So uh, please allow me to provide you with, the, with some very high level numbers. First of all, this project is estimated at around $450 million. Within the $450 million, about $274 million is about the construction. The project itself is very, very challenging. It, ha it involves many jurisdictions, and I must acknowledge the city of, uh, city of Diamond Bar, city of industry, the county of Los Angeles for working closely with us. There are many, many issues to address within a very built out community. So we will continue to iron out many uh, difficult issues and get this project under construction. In terms of project schedule, the golf course improvements will start in August of this year. So it is on, only three to four months away we're going to get this project started. And then uh, we anticipate to start the main line improvement in July of next year. The entire project will be completed by 2027. So with that, I'll be uh, more than happy to answer any questions, but I think we would like to walk with you across the bridge uh, to, and take a look at some critical elements. I want to thank the uh, City of Diamond Bar, members of the Council, City of Industry, members of the Council, uh, Mayor <laughs> Corey and Mayor Pro Tem, Kathy. I'm so glad to see all of you here and all uh, these. I think it's the San Gabriel Valley Economic Council and all the regional partners for working together and really showing what partnership means. Obviously, as your representative for the 39th district, I did have this project in mind and said with my team, when I get to Congress, when I have the uh, opportunity to work on that one project that is immediate that is important, that will spur our local economy and help work on building the uh, infrastructure that is badly needed and badly uh, was in waiting for so long. Uh, having worked with Ed Royce for a long time, I know this project was an important priority of his and he was able to get the f in initial uh, funding to get the project going. Now, on behalf of your 39th district constituents, I know this project is really important. You mentioned there is like any, any time like 40, 50,000 truckload of goods. Until last year, I was told on average, 30,000 truckload of goods are carried right through this 5760 Confluence project. And I've seen firsthand that bottleneck creates a lot of traffic safety issues. And I, for one, I have to tell you, I was, in an accident, just coming up on north of 57 because it was in the, one of those uh, rainy days and I just couldn't see the direction going back and forth. So I am one of those who can personally say, we need to fix this largest bottleneck in the state of California and it's considered, it changes each year, right? When the report comes out, as you mentioned, you know, I, I understood this to be like the third or fourth or fifth 
largest bottleneck, traffic bottleneck in the nation. So I saw the need for it. I'm very glad that I'm working closely with my colleague who represents you in this area, Congresswoman Grace Napolitano, and we're definitely working in a bipartisan way. Infrastructure projects such as this requires bipartisan support, and it will have a long-lasting effect. I mean, effect. That's why it was important for me to reach out and work with her, and also sending a letter to uh, Transportation Secretary Buttigieg is, was very important for me. And I challenged him to come out, if he hasn't already done so, to come out to our district, stand right here where I'm standing, so he can see the project for himself, so that this will be an ongoing project, because this is only the beginning. We're fighting for the dollars that we need to bring it from federal government, but please understand, we're doing a two-prong track from the uh, federal government through the Department of Transportation funding and through our infrastructure uh, transportation committee. So we are making these funding requests, and I will see to it, I'm sure my staff, uh, we'll also make sure that we stay on top of this. We're competing with other members of Congress with their member project priorities. So I need to make sure that this is my number one priority and see to it that we get not only the initial funding that I'm requesting, but help you along the way. Once this project gets underway, until it's completed in 2027, you're going to continue to fight for funds at all levels of government. So I'll do my part to help you from the federal government. You do your part, and along the way, let's see. Uh, keep on updating me and tell, tell me where you need additional help. And that's why I'm here for you. And I'm, it's an honor. It's an honor to represent you, City of Diamond Bar, City of Industry, all San Gabriel Valley area in Washington, D.C. on your behalf. So thank you for allowing me to represent you. Thank you.